Hello and happy Easter to you. When I shared an Easter thought with you last year, I could never have imagined the year that lay ahead. This time last year, we'd been staying home for a few weeks. We were cheering on our doorsteps for our amazing frontline workers and our windows and pavements were decorated with rainbows. What a year we have had. We have needed to stay home for longer than any of us had imagined. Our frontline workers have had to work harder and sacrificed more than they could have known about. And of course, many of us have lost those we love. We've been through a long, hard winter and many of those rainbows that we chalked onto our pavements and decorated our windows have faded or have been washed away altogether. And yet spring is here. As I stand here, I'm aware that outside I'm surrounded by reminders that however harsh and brutal the winter is, the spring will always come. I don't know how you find yourself this Easter or all that the last year has meant for you. And for those of you who are feeling the loss of a loved one today, our hearts go out to you. The Easter story is one that takes us through a journey of the suffering and sacrifice of Good Friday, loss, grief and bewilderment of Easter Saturday, and then joy, hope and new life of today. Today is fundamentally all about hope. One of the accounts of the Easter story tells of two of Jesus' closest followers after they've lost their dear friend and teacher in the most brutal of ways. They are walking along the road, talking and sharing with each other in their sadness, and they're so overwhelmed by what has happened to them that when a stranger comes up and walks alongside them, their sadness and grief stops them from seeing that that stranger is actually the one who they love. They're disappointed, disillusioned and despairing. And they even use the phrase, we had hoped. And it's not until they stop and eat a meal together that they realise that he was there with them all the time. I don't know if the Easter story means anything to you, whether it's deeply meaningful and you base your life and faith on it, or whether it is simply just a story. But I do think that most of us can relate to that feeling we had hoped. And so I hope wherever you find yourself this Easter, whether you feel hope filled or hope less or somewhere in between, you will know that that source of hope and love walks beside you when you cannot feel it. It's that hope we celebrate today. And it's not dependent on our ability to see it or how loud we cheer or how bright our rainbows are. It's as gentle and defiant as spring itself. We can't contain it and we cannot stop it from coming. It walks beside us and loves us always. Happy Easter.